YouTubers, SSG here. How are you guys doing today? <clears throat> today I'm uh, doing a uh, opening on this uh, 1955P roll of pennies that I purchased from eBay back in December 16th of 2016. And it's been bugging me to see what's exactly inside this thing, if there's anything in gem or legit or if there's just nothing even worth the value in here so let's get open this thing and uh, see what's up with this open it up see what we got here this thing's been sitting in my safe place here since december of 2016 so see what we got here Yeah. I see some, a lot of wheat in here. Got a lot of pennies to go through here, you know, just to try to get them all sorted out here and just to see if this row is actually all 1955 in this row. I'm probably going to have to take my magnifier just to look at it because, you know, sometimes it's a little hard to see the dates on some of these older pennies here, you know what I mean? I know this is just taking a minute to sort out here, you know, so it's 50 pennies, you know what I mean? So some of you are probably saying, well, why are you wearing those white gloves picking up these pennies, you know? So, because, uh, I wear them because your fingers carry oils on them, and then oils can get fingerprints on copper, and that kind of devalues the uh, actual penny, so that's why I'm wearing them, you know. Okay. We got some this penny sorted out here. Let's see if I can move, shift this over a little bit for you guys here. See what we got in this bundle here. Okay, well, I already found a 56 in here. So. Well, from what I'm seeing from here, there was only one 1956 penny in here, and the rest are all 1955. Ooh, check out this 1955 penny right here. This one is kind of got it like a like a, some kind of toning or something going on with it hope you guys can really see that I 
Let's see if I put this magnifier here. You guys see that? Got a little bit, some kind of toning going on there. Get my jewelers loop here for you guys here, and maybe you can see it a little bit better. Y'all can see that it's 1955 right there. You see that, 1955. But from my eye's point of view, not a camera's point of view, it looks really cool, you know, having that weird tone to it, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to go through these, you know, under the magnifier. I have another uh, high-scope magnifier that's going to be able to pinpoint, like, is, is there anything in here, you know, that I can see you know because uh, sometimes these, these cameras here just don't want to pick up on smallest slightest details on things here so but that's all i wanted to share with you today i opened it i found only one 1956 in this bundle i don't know if there's anything special except for that one i like it's kind of like two-tone a little bit lighter i don't know I don't know what that is. If you guys know what it is, then leave me a comment and let me know because, you know, this kind of field for me is kind of still new. You know, I'm mostly a silver stacker, you know, but I do enjoy doing the coins too, man. I sit there and I go through them and I look through them. And sometimes I find some pretty good things. I heard some guy on uh, YouTube the other day talking about a 1965 dime with Cameo in it. And I... I have a 1965 dime that's uncirculated and I started going through it last night and I was like, I wonder if it is a cameo or not. I'm going to have to make a video to show you guys that and maybe you guys can give me your feedback to say like, well, if it's still in the seal and it's still 1965, it's possible it may be in a cameo. So, but that's all I wanted to share with you today. Opened up this 1955 row from eBay that I purchased and uh, just wanted to share that with the uh, coin community and my silver stackers who are subscribed to my channel if you like my video please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and i know this is a different view for ssg here right you guys take care ssg and i'm out